Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek Noise and I just had to bring you a video to talk to you about the new Nikon D800 and the very slightly different model, the D800E. This is mega, mega exciting stuff and I'm going to have to refer to my notes here because there is so, so much to cover. Now this new camera from Nikon, first of all the D800 and the same specifications go across to the D800E and I'll tell you the difference towards the end of the video. First of all, 36.3, yep you heard it right, 36.3 megapixel FX format, that's full frame sensor, wow. That is going to produce some massive file sizes and hopefully along with it a vast amount of detail in both your photos and videos. We've also got ISO 100 to 6400, doesn't sound very impressive but it is extendable to 25,600, 4 frames per second cons consecutive shooting uh, and that's in full frame. Uh, if you drop it down to uh, DX crop mode then you can get 5 frames per second. Uh, and then we move on to some movie uh, features. Multi-area D-movie records in full frame and DX format, full HD, 1080p at 30 frames per second, 25 frames per second and 24 frames per second. So finally we're getting 30p video from the Nikon DSLRs. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm more interested in the video features of these cameras and this should produce some absolutely awesome video footage. I cannot wait to test this out. Moving on to the uh, focus system, multicam uh, 3500FX 51.0 AF system and you can select between 9.21 and the 51.0 AF system. That should give very fast and accurate, accurate autofocus. So really exciting uh, specification there. A few more specifications for you. X-Speed 3 image processing engine, 14-bit uh, 14 uh, 14 analog digital conversion, 16-bit image processing, an 8cm 3.2 inch screen. That's the same as the one on the D4 and it's got a 921,000 dot resolution. And it seems like the 3.2 inch screen is going to be what's appearing across the range on the Nikon DSLRs in the future. 100% uh, viewfinder coverage which we'd expect on a camera of this level. Uh, quiet shooting mode which uh, means that we can do discrete sort of street photography without the shutter clanking around in there. Um, and it just sounds amazing. Now one of the things that sort of confused me, they just announced the D4 recently and that's got compact flash and this new QXD memory card and then the D800 has got compact flash and SD card so not quite sure why they didn't carry across the QXD or XQD whichever way around it is um, memory card into this model as well that seemed like a strange decision uh, magnesium alloy body which again at this price point you would expect to see now this particular one uh, not sure on the UK pricing yet I haven't seen the UK press release on it uh, but you're going to be looking at around about $3,000, so you're looking at probably about £2,200, I would imagine, for this sort of camera. Uh, the D800E is going to be a couple of hundred pounds more, and what that does is it actually has an optical low-pass filter with the anti-aliasing properties removed. Now, when digital cameras first came out, you sometimes encountered this moiré problem, sort of like a pattern effect across your photos, and they uh, removed that by adding a low-pass filter. Um, what they've done with this D800E is they removed the anti-aliasing properties, so you should get the absolute maximum amount of light coming through onto the sensor, and the absolute maximum amount of detail in your photos. If you do get this moiré pattern, then you can remove it post-processing, but the D800E just gives you that option if you want it, but you do have to pay 
for that option. Now, as I was recording this video, I did get an email through with the pricing on the D800 and D800E for the UK, and for the D800, you're looking at £2,399, so a little bit higher than my uh, predicted price. And for the D800E, you are going to pay between £150 and £200 more for that D800E specification. So it is not a cheap camera, but it is going to deliver absolutely impeccable results. So I'm very keen to get one of these into the Geek & Noise Studio. I will try my hardest to get one in to review so that I can share my experiences with you guys and girls. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.